I'm gonna just hold you, so hi. Hey guys, um, pretty much this vlog is just kind of, I'm not sure if it's gonna work or not to be honest. It's a vlog of the next five-ish days roughly. The reason why I'm doing that is I'm calling this the schoolies vlog type of thing. If you don't know what schoolies is, because I'm not sure if it's an Australian thing only, pretty much what schoolies is is where when you finish uh, high school, so between the ages of 18 and I believe 24, I'm not sure on the age, but it's 18 and up to I think there's a cutoff. You go to this place and you get drunk, you might do some drugs, although we don't really do drugs that much at schoolies. You get drunk, you listen to a lot of music, you do that for four or five days straight. That's the basis of what schoolies is. I didn't go when I graduated high school, which was last year. I instead went to my friend's 18th, so that was pretty cool. But I'm going to school this year, not as a patron or a person participating. I'm going as a St. John's volunteer person now, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to be there for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So it's four days. So I'm doing a early Friday shift, so it's just helping set up stuff, making sure everything's ready, and helping anyone who had too many pre-drinks. Saturday is helping everyone with their hangovers after. Then Sunday is a night shift, which is going from 6 p.m. to 3 a.m. And then that Monday at 10.30 to 11 roughly, I will be heading to uni. So as you can hear, it's a jam-packed day. The place is in Victor Harbour, which is approximately an hour, give or take, away from my house. So, fortunately enough, shout out to my uncle. He has a beach house up in Goolwa, which is about less than five minutes from Victor Harbour. So, shout out to my uncle. Thank you for letting us use your beach house. So, we're going to be using the beach house. And I'll pretty much just be eating and sleeping there. And then when I'm not volunteering, I'll be resting there. So then I kind of just take you on the journey so you can kind of see what goes on. Obviously I won't be able to take you while schoolies is actually happening. Um, but we'll just kind of see. I'll kind of give you my debriefs. So I'll talk about how the shift went, stuff like that. Kind of give some discussions, just show what I do during the day, show you how I get ready for a shift, all those different things. But yeah, so pretty much what I'm currently doing, it is the Wednesday, so... Wednesday the 20th of November. I'm not leaving until tomorrow but after uni so I'll be leaving at four o'clock so I have to get all my stuff prepped now. So I'm making some cookies, some vegan cookies because I want to try do something vegan. So I've made those. They're in the fridge cooling. Not only that I've written out what I'm going to be eating the whole week or well, the whole four days. So I'm just going to quickly bring you up on my phone because I texted it to mum because mum is going to be coming up with me. She's going to help me cook and clean and things like that. So Thursday night when we head up there, we're just tempted to go straight to the pub. Um, just because we don't really want to cook. Friday morning is smoothies with toast and, and eggs to go with it. Friday lunch is up to mum because I will be work I'll be volunteering so I won't be there so she can decide what she wants for her own lunch. Dinner, I want pasta because I'm trying to think of lots of meals that will have carbs to keep me full of energy. So that's why a lot of these are very carb base. Saturday morning, I need to have something quick-ish because my shift starts at 7 in the morning. So I'm going to have cereal or a smoothie so I can do the smoothies the night before. Saturday lunch is up to mum because again I will be volunteering. Saturday dinner, however, I, I've asked to have fish with chips and salad. Again, you can get that carbs but still being healthy. Sunday morning, because I'm not having an early morning, that's my nighttime shift, I have asked to have pancakes because that's something that's semi healthy but not really healthy but fun. Saturday, uh, Sunday lunch, sorry, is fried rice with garlic bread, so that's really that, you know, carbs, carbs, carbs. And then Sunday dinner is up to mum because I will be volunteering and they are providing me a meal voucher so I will be able to eat something when I'm there which is really awesome and then the Monday morning my shift will finish at 3 in the morning so I'm tempted to make a smoothie so then when I get to uni at 10 30 because I'm going to sleep until 9 and then drive straight to uni I'll just have the smoothie when I get to uni 
and I'll have to figure out the lunch situation for that day. Because normally I take a frozen meal with me, so I might just have to do that as well. And then for snacks throughout the day is the cookies that I've currently made. Well, I need to cook them, but they're in the fridge. Water, milk, grapes, bread rolls, oat bars, nut bars, dark chocolate, Benavites, apples. If we need anything else, we'll buy it up there. So that's my preparation. I also just need to make sure that I have a patch my uniform because that needs to be there as well as my shoes I'll bring a shoe cleaner I'll need some pajamas and just some like chill clothes wear type of thing I'm also gonna bring some books because there's no internet at this beach house it's supposed to be an oasis and escape type of thing so there's no internet at all so that's gonna be fun um, it doesn't bother me too much. I'm just concerned, obviously, if my lecturers try to email me, I won't be able to reply to them. But that's should be all good. Um, yeah, I just... Ooh, posting TikToks might be hard. And Instagram photos. But that'll be fine. Yeah, so pretty much it'll just be a lot of reading. I'm going to bring my laptop with me because I have from uni, so I can do some uni work. Blah, 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 blah. I'll need to bring a sketchbook so I can draw out my poster ideas. But yeah, that's pretty much the main of it. So a lot of prep work and stuff like that. Currently, I am just about to go on the computer. I'm going to just edit some videos, do all of that jazz. But yeah, that's kind of it for the prep stuff. I will see you guys tomorrow morning, or tomorrow anyway, just to kind of show you what I've packed, the journey, the whole lot, blah, 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 blah. So this is the night before the night before school leaves <laughs> yay hi it's thursday morning i'm late for leaving it's 8 30 currently and as you can see my bag is packed my jackets are there my uniforms are snack stuff is downstairs and i gotta go all right i've got my ear butted to look like i'm just kind of talking to myself which i am but you know <laughs> i'm also listening to a little thing um so currently i'm at uni as you can tell by the background. I'm at uni, so I'm currently just doing some work other than watching Lily sing. I'm gonna eat my breakfast. So, that's the thing. I'm gonna be here until about four o'clock and then I have to leave so I can go home. Well, not go home, get into the car to go straight to Victor Harbor. So, it's gonna be a head dig day. Hey, so we are officially in Goa. So we're in the holiday alarm. <laughs> so I'm currently sitting in like, apparently the light room. No, we're sitting, I'm sitting in the kids room currently because it has four beds in here. So I'm going to spread myself everywhere. Thanks son for shining on my face, making me look white as normal. Um, pretty much we just got here. We unpacked all our stuff. I'm just going to come into the shade. But I'm just going to unpack all my clothes now. And that's really it. Just have a bit of a chill night. Work on some homework and go out to the pub and eat. Um, possibly. That's about it. <laughs> now, I'm currently in the kids' room as talked about before. And then I would just kind of talk to you because I'm not going to be sleeping in here. Um, don't get me wrong, it's cool, whatnot. But I kind of use it as my um, like organization room because there is three other bedrooms. Mum's got a bedroom, I've got a bedroom. We good? So. The kids bedroom is just going to have all of my stuff in it. So as you can currently see right here, for example, we got t-shirts, socks, underwear, pants, and then pajamas. And then my shoes are over there, which I'm going to polish. This is all the stuff I'm taking into the bedroom, as well as my bags and whatnot. And then that's really it. And then my uniform is hanging up here. 
so it's ready to go. Pants are underneath, you know, with the belt. So I'll put a pair of shoes here once I finish polishing them. So I kind of just use this room as a organization room. My bedroom is in the other room, but yeah. I'm not going to give a tour of this house just because it's my uncle's house and I want to keep it personal to him. You'll see what you see throughout the videos, but that's about it. So, we're just going to eat dinner in an hour, so I'm just going to finish getting my stuff ready. We're going to head to the pub for dinner. And then that's kind of it for the day. I'll, go, I'll give my thoughts later in the night on how I'm feeling and all that stuff because it's the night before school is. Okay, uh, it's like 10.30 or something. <laughs> I already cried because, you know... I overthought too much to the point where I made myself cry. So that was kind of fun. Um, so I've been sitting in this room just watching some videos, but it's hurting my back a lot, the bed. No tea, no shade to my uncle. So I'm going to go sleep in the kids' room because their beds are actually super duper comfy. So i got four beds to choose from. I'll just go sleep in there. But I'm going to get a glass of milk and I will quickly discuss my thoughts for tomorrow. As I said in the last clip, but you know, I'm re it in, in case you forgot in the 35 seconds we've been talking. Please ignore the fact it looks like I'm about to cry. Um, something's really affecting my eyes right now, so... My apologies on that, it's probably the equal disorder I put on my chin. The fumes are getting to my eyes. Um, oh my god. I look like every YouTuber trying to do an apology video. Don't I? Know. Oh, love you all. Pretty much, what I wanted to talk about is just my thoughts for tomorrow. Because it's Thursday, roughly 10.30pm. So the night before school is. I'm going to take you out of the bathroom because it's just very echoey in here. So my thoughts on tomorrow is, A, this light makes me look really right for some reason. Okay, I think it's the blind reflecting, maybe, who knows, I now look extremely red and I do apologise, but oh well. So my kind of um, thoughts for tomorrow is I'm nervous because I'm always nervous for new events and especially an event like schoolies because I don't know how to, how it works or how to respond. If that makes sense, like I know what I'm doing in a first aid sense, but I have the really big fear that I'm just going to not know what to do. And considering tomorrow all it is is just setting up, really, and helping anyone who's hurt themselves from setting up, I'm just nervous for tomorrow. I think the most I'm going to be nervous is Saturday, Sunday morning because that's like the big shift. Whereas tomorrow is just a simple shift and I'm kind of nervous for it. So what I'm going to hope to do is just, I don't know, try and get a good night's sleep. I don't have to wake up until at least 9am tomorrow morning. So I put on some eucalyptus as I just talked about before. You find it in every European podcast, either eucalyptus or tea tree oil. Um, I personally use tea tree oil on my acne. It actually helps me. It kind of burns it. So it does do like a burning factor, but then it like is better in a day. I don't know why it does that, but it's what it does. Um, yeah, I, I'm i just nervous, so I'm going to go to bed, see how I feel. I'm going to listen to a meditation, help myself calm down. I might do that in the morning too. Um, yeah, I guess I'll talk to you guys in the morning. Even the camera's like, I'm tired, I want to go to sleep. Alright, I'll see you guys. Go on, focus. Maybe. Maybe. Cool. I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. It is 8.45 a.m. So, it's the first day of schoolies. I'm a little nervous, but I think I'm just going to be relaxed and try and focus on the positives. So, I am going to get up, have some breakfast change, head off, all of that type of jazz. So this morning is basically just like setting up everything so it's not too crazy. Um, the only issues 
I guess people would have if it's already pre-junk before schoolies has even started. Which I highly doubt, but I mean, who knows at this rate. So I'm going to quickly uh, go downstairs, eat breakfast before I put on my uniform because I don't like to eat breakfast before I put on my uniform in case I spill anything. So that's what I'm going to go do. Eat my breakfast, then put on my uniform, put on my nicely polished shoes, wait for Jared to come so then he can take me, and that's it. Um, hey. It's many hours since I've gotten back from my first shift, but I thought I'd still kind of talk about it anyway. Um, I didn't really treat anyone because it was just setting up. You know, just setting up the four different places, the treatment centers, so that ready for tonight's crew, and then the rest of the crews. I never realized until now how out of my element I kind of refill and this I know everyone's sick and tired of me saying this and it's just yeah but it's so weird to be out of the element and then trying to almost get back into it and then just realize you don't really fit or belong anymore it's the weirdest feeling so I've done St. John for five years now. It will be five years? Yeah, five years. It'll be six years next year. But for the, you know, four years of my life of St. John's, I knew what I was doing. I had a structure. I had a family. I had consistency. The end of the four years, it all fell completely apart and shattered and broke me and then you know it took me three months to stop having PTSD flashes and to stop just hating myself to the point of that death was an option and to stop having panic attacks thinking about it it took me three months just to get over that and then I Still couldn't go back to the kid version for another three months after that. So I kept going to adults and I did that until July, August of this year. And then I joined a, uh, a cadet division. And don't get me wrong, nothing... There's nothing wrong with that division. I just have gone from having such a close, tight-knit family who... It's one of them I call my brother and I catch up with the other one so much to being a leader that does absolutely nothing and it's just kind of there and it's the most disheartening feeling because again you go from doing so much to nothing from you know having a family to not having one you go from being important to someone to no one and I think I just realized I've been really lost. I was drowning and I'm still trying to get to the surface, but I don't know if St. John's a place for me anymore. I think it used to be. I don't know if it still is. I really just don't know. But I also don't know if that's just because of I'm so stressed and very self-doubting and very self-negative these past months or two where I just think it's I need to retract from everything I just I'm kind of at a loss but like today really made me realize I don't really fully belong in St. John I don't really fit in like Everyone knew each other. I knew them, but I couldn't hold a conversation with them. And yeah, that could be just because I'm a shy, nervous, anxious person. But I just got so upset and angry so quick over things I shouldn't. And it just made me realize that 
Maybe these aren't my group of people anymore. Maybe these guys aren't the family I used to have. And it just really breaks my heart that that's something I have to think about. Um, but other than that life revolution I was having, as well as having a breakdown and absolutely losing it and telling Jared to not speak to me today because, well, tonight, which he won't anyway because he's doing a shift, so that kind of works in his favour. Um, or tomorrow, actually, I told him not to, but he'll be asleep and then doing another shift, so I guess that kind of works too. But I just feel really lost. I feel like I've just been kind of gliding through this year and I haven't done anything impactful. Yes, I've done two things that are quote unquote impactful to me, but I just feel very empty, like a void trying to like slide through the year. And I just don't know if it's because I've been doing it for so long or I just feel like that or if it's just, I really don't know anymore. The first time I really felt like belong and happiness and joy is when I was hanging out with people similar to my age, not talking about clinical stuff, not talking about, you know, St. John policies or anything like that, just laughing and giggling and talking about how cute Disney characters are and just doing stuff like that and I miss that I have it with the uni girls thankfully but we obviously still talk about uni I don't have any friends outside of that really I have my three uni girls two St. John friends two kind of old high school friends talk to you here and there but not really and two primary school friends so yes I do have friends but I think it's just I feel very isolated from myself lately just because I feel like I don't really have a friend who I haven't met because of X, Y, and I know that you meet people because of stuff but I just feel like I don't have a friend I can talk to and chat with and you know be a best friend with anymore and I feel like I had that in high school and primary school and all that but I just feel like I don't have that anymore and it really sucks other than that <laughs> I've just been laying in bed watching anime watching YouTube because as you can tell I'm not the most happiest gal right now I'm gonna have dinner in a while and then I'm gonna sit out on the balcony and just read my book um, and then just listen to some music maybe you know focus on nature I really need to just figure out what's going on with my life really because I honestly don't know right now hi good morning um, I'm actually starting this vlog a little later than I expected to it's 11.50 currently I woke up at 10 o'clock and as you can tell by the silver thing next to me I've just been sitting and sitting and chilling and watching some videos on my laptop so I don't have my shift until 6 p.m. tonight so from 6 to 3 in the morning so I should probably have something to eat have a shower just kind of clean myself a bit and then I'm deciding if I want to go over to the accommodation where all the other St. John people are I like one o'clock and hang out with well one of them because I don't really know most if not any of them but, yeah, I'm kind of deciding I'll probably do that um, because, you know, I'm weird, but I'm just going to stay in bed for a little bit longer, you know, I eat some food, get, have a shower, all that stuff, and then I'll take my greens with me. I'll just go in, like, this clothing that you can see here. Um, and, yeah, that's really about it. Nothing too flashy today, just I'll talk about my thoughts before I leave. Hey, so it is 1.35 or 13.35. I'm going to head off to the St. John accommodation where I'm just going to hang out for a bit, chill with some people. And by people, I mean like maybe one or two people that I know. 
I'm going to take my book with me, just chill. I'm just in quote unquote normal civilian clothing. So, got a whole marker play, you're welcome to our merch. So, I'm just going to be chilling in this until like 5 o'clock, 5.30 until I have to get changed for my shift to start. So, yeah, we're just going to chill for a while, hang out with some peeps. Yeah, I'm just cleaning like all of my stuff together because when I get back it'll be 3, 3 30 in the morning. So I'm gonna pretty much head straight to sleep and then get up, go straight to uni. It's a hell of a busy day, but well, it's gonna be a hell of a busy 24 hours, but we got this. So my thoughts for tonight, I am quite nervous to be honest. Just because it's gonna I know there's gonna be a lot more patients than what I did with yesterday, so I'm hoping things run smoothly. I just hope I don't screw up, and if I do, I just have to learn that it's okay to ask people for help and advice, because that's what they're there for. So, we're going to see how we go. <sighs> we're praying, we, you know, we out here, we got my, this, um, like, band, this bracelet helps with anxiety, so... And as you can see, it's got like different gems on it that's supposed to help with anxiety. As weird as this sounds, I'm not much of a like gemstone properties person. I love gemstones, but I don't believe in their properties that much. But I've actually put this on a couple of times and I could feel almost like an electric current go through my arm. From like the bracelet down through my body. Like right now my arm is starting to tingle because I just put it on. So I can feel that and it's calming me down. And I know that's the weirdest thing, but... I think it does something. Not all the time. Sometimes right now it's definitely tingling. But yeah. Anyway. I'm gonna head off. Hang out with people. See how we go. And yeah. Let's see how we do. Good morning. I didn't vlog last night because I was really tired. But it's 9 in the morning right now. About to get changed. Had to have some breakfast and head straight to uni. My thoughts on last night. It was hella fun. I really enjoyed it. And... I was only scared at the beginning, but then after that, I got a lot more confident in myself, which was different. It was really cool. But yeah, anyway, I'm gonna get changed and kill the day. <laughs> hey, okay. Please ignore the fact that I look messy. Y'all used to it by now, but you know. So, this is actually the next day. I just went to uni, got home, and crashed. So,. I'm just going to let you know what I did yesterday, that whole lot, and we'll go from there. So as you know, after the drive back from the harbour, we went straight to the city, and I went straight into uni. So we were in uni, we watched a film, did an analysis on it, then talked about our work, and then from there I finished at about 5 o'clock. I then went home with Dad, and then we had a nice family dinner together with Mum, Dad and myself. I got to see my baby Tariqa. Um, my baby polar bear missed her so much. After that, I laid in bed, finished off an anime series I was watching called A Good Shepherd is a Good Librarian or something along those lines. Um, that was interesting. I liked it a lot. Well, I liked it. After that, I had a quick phone call with Jared and then I went to bed because I was super sleepy. So I went to sleep probably around 8, 9 o'clock. So I really didn't do a whole lot. And I think I forgot to give the thoughts on what happened after. Like, what's today? Like Monday morning shift type of thing. Because it finished at 3 in the morning. So my thoughts on that shift was it was actually a lot of fun. We were quite busy. But it wasn't too busy to not handle, if that makes sense. I was in charge of looking after four of the beds in the major incident section, so I was kind of like the head person for that section. And then anytime handovers were given, it had to go through me, or if I wasn't available, then someone else, but mainly through me. I was doing all of their OBS, so checking on all of them, making sure their vitals were all good and things like that. As you know, someone who was very anxious and has been terrified of events, that was a lot of pressure to start with. Once I'd finished my first patient, 
I felt a lot better. I think I kind of realized I know what I'm doing. I actually physically know what I'm doing. So I got into that mindset of, alright, just do what I can. If I don't know, ask the registered nurse who's partnered with me. We got this. So we went through the whole night. I don't know how many patients I did. <laughs> it was a lot. But we got there. I had my break at around 12.30. So other than that, I wasn't non-stop working. And it was, I got to really... I got to meet a lot of cool people, so shout out to all you schoolies, you're actually pretty cool. And made my job a lot less terrifying than I thought. And I quite enjoyed it. Would I do it again? I really don't know. It just depends on what I decide at the end of the day, if I want to continue. Alright garbage truck, we get it. Also, respect for your work, but also, you're very loud. Um, sorry. You get the point. Um. Would I do school again? I don't know. It really depends if I want to continue doing events or not. I've been tossing and turning with the event, with the concept of if I continue to do events, events, or if I just drop back to a non-ops role, but I'm worried if I do that, I'll feel more out of place than if I just continue to do events. So, I think that's a 2020s problem. Right now, I'm going to ignore that problem, and I'll figure it out next year. Um... But for now, obviously this is, well today is Tuesday as of filming this, I've been, I've, I've been awake, but I've kind of just gotten out of bed, as you can tell by my voice. Um, I had to have some breakfast, so in here is like cereal, yogurt, coconut, strawberries, healthy, I'm going to have an oat bar, I'm going to make myself a protein shake before I go to the gym with one of my good friends. B -b Baker, so we're gonna go to the gym together. Well, than that, it's gonna be a restful day. Don't want to do too much. I'm still tired, but I got stuff to do. Gotta put some washing away, do some housework type of stuff, as well as some uh, uni work, the whole lot. But I hope you enjoyed this vlog. It was very different. I know I couldn't like show you parts of schoolies solely because a can't film the kids, B, can't film in St. John as a whole really, that's a lot of no-nos, so I can talk about my before and afters, but I can't show during. I apologise, but I hope you still enjoyed it anyway, and if you did, let me know in the comments section below, and maybe I will do more of like filming vlogs of like my busy weeks, so it's not just like, <laughs> I went to uni, now I'm home, now I have a rest day, now I have a rest day which is my normal routine. Anyway, alright, see you guys in the next video. Talk to you guys later. Bye!